Hello, my name is Miss Catherine. I'm from Midtown School of Performing Arts in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I teach a program called Bounce and Beethoven's. I'll be teaching through the libraries this summer virtually, and so I want to make sure that you have all of the instruments that you need in order to have fun at home with your kiddos. I also want to just let you know, too, that the more fun you have, the more fun your kiddos will have in music class. So make sure that you make instruments for yourself as well. Today I'm going to start with showing you how to make some at-home uh, egg shakers. So this is an egg shaker that we use in class. It has these little clay balls in them. But for yours at home, you can use all kinds of things. So I like to find miscellaneous items around the house, such as bread ties, and you can put them in a container, put your lid on, and you have an instant shaker. Make sure though that you always use packing tape or some kind of tape to secure your lid so that your kiddos don't get a mouthful of yuck. Also, another option would be to use salt. So just use regular salt. Pour some of that in, secure your lid, put your tape on, and there's your shaker. The other option would be twist ties. <laughs> twist ties. And so you put your twist ties in, put your lid on, and shake away. If you have an Easter egg around, you could also have your kiddos fill it with something special, put it in, secure it with tape, and there is your egg shaker. One other idea that I always love to do is actually putting a picture of my daughter on her instruments, and she added these stickers. Of course, I put tape on it, so make it nice and secure, but also it kind of keeps, um, if they taste it, um, then you can just quickly wipe it down, keep it clean. All right, so those are your egg shaker ideas. Next would be rhythm sticks. So this is a pair of rhythm sticks that we use in class. You get one bumpy one and one smooth one. But for at-home virtual classes, there's no need for that. You can look around and find things that are wooden, like wooden dowels. I even found some um, unsharpened pencils that you could use. Or chopsticks, a little different sound, but still wood and still fun. If you don't have a fancy pair, that's okay. You can get them at your local store where they sell sushi. Open them up, break them apart, get off that scruffy part at the end, and they're ready to play as rhythm sticks. And then an, an additional option would be to turn a paper towel roll into the rhythm stick. So you would need two paper towel rolls per set. All right, next up would be bells. So in our classes, we use a bell shaker. It has four bells on it. At home, however, you can use whatever you want to help your kiddos make those fun bell sounds. Some people like to use keys. If you're comfortable giving your keys to your kiddos, that's up to you, but here's an idea. Another idea would be to give them a cowbell if you have one. That's always fun. And another option would be to invest in a bell shaker um, through a local store. All right, let's move on to drums. Drums are super fun. You can use them um, during the class, during our play along time. We usually have at least one play along time, sometimes two. I actually turned a box like this into a hand drum. And all I did was I wrapped it with paper and used stamps that some friends of mine gave me, some of my little friends. And now I use it a lot in my virtual classes, my hand drum. You can also add those rhythm sticks, rhythm chopsticks to it for all kinds of drum fun at home. Don't forget, you can also use Tupperware, plastic containers. You can use this kind of plastic container. If you have a couple of these, you can also ta uh, tape them together to make like a little bongo set. And even a big container like this would be fun for a drum. So drums. Next up are scarves. 
So our scarves, with scarves, you don't have to use a specific color or type. You can have printed scarves. Um, in our classes, we have just solid colored scarves. So, scarves. Also in our class, we use something called a co-op band, and it has lots of different colors on it. And it's also stretchy. It has a big piece of um, uh, tubing in there that helps it to stretch, but at home you don't have to do that. So take a couple scarves, tie them together at the ends. I usually like to give at least about one scarf per person. So if you have three or four, you tie them together and it makes a nice circle and you can find your rhythm and tap together with it. Helps you to be expressive and also feel a sense of community within your own home. So, scarves. And last but not least, our cuddly friends. In our classes, we like to do a lot of dancing. And sometimes we like to have snuggle time with our cuddly friends at the end or dance with them during the class. So make sure that every single person in the music class has a snuggly friend. To play with as well. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and gave you some ideas on how to bring some fun to your home with musical instruments made from home. I'll see you in the libraries.